The federal government has essentially put forward a new drug policy and a new path forward for dealing with these harmful and sometimes deadly substances. A key aspect of this centers around the ongoing opioid overdose crisis, which has been spreading across the country. We need to take swift action on the opioid crisis to save lives. We need a renewed focus on harm reduction. To do that, the government is introducing new measures in this legislation to reduce the barriers for communities to set up safe injection sites. This is being called an important measure because the death count in this opioid crisis continues to rise. In British Columbia alone, it's believed that this year there have been more than 600 deaths due to opioid drugs like fentanyl. Fentanyl. Now, the government is also taking action to try and uh, prevent the production of fentanyl within Canada or prevent that drug from even getting into our borders. There will be new heavy restrictions on the purchases of pill presses. As well, border agents will now have more powers to inspect smaller packages that they deem suspicious. These moves are being called vital. As little as two milligrams of fentanyl can kill. In a 30 gram pack like this one, that's 15,000 deadly doses. So the bill introduced today is being called an important step, but it's not without its criticisms. The opposition NDP came out right after the ministers and said that they've been calling for these measures for a year now. The bill will take many more months to actually become law, and in that time, the NDP says many more lives will be taken by these deadly drugs. In Ottawa, Cormac McSweeney, City News.